Nearly half of the Kentucky inmates who were released early from prison due to health concerns during the pandemic have been charged again since getting out. That's according to a report from the Kentucky court system. WHAS 11's Rachel Droz joining us in studio tonight. And Rachel, can you tell us a little bit more about this report? Yes, yeah, Shay, this report breaks down how many of the inmates with commuted sentences have had criminal cases in the Kentucky court system since they got out. But Governor Andy Bashir says this isn't how reports like this are usually run and is having his office take a closer look. A report from the Kentucky court system saying 50% of those released have been charged with a criminal offense since they got out. 30% are facing felonies. To keep inmates and corrections staff healthy, Governor Andy Bashir commuted sentences of 1,700 inmates in 2020, those being released limited to nonviolent, non-sexual offenders, according to the Kentucky Justice and Public Safety Cabinet. News about the criminal charges leading some lawmakers to call for a public apology from the governor. I want him to apologize to the new victims in Kentucky. There's, there, are, there are families today that are suffering from, from being a victim that they didn't have to be. While half of those released are now facing criminal charges, not all have been convicted. As of now, the Bashir administration says fewer than 20 percent of the inmates released have been sentenced by a judge for crimes committed after getting out. That report uh, is, is, is very different than what we've seen in the past. When we judge recidivism, it's by convictions because there are people that are charged with things that it's ultimately uh, uh, dropped and or uh, pled down. The governor says his office is doing a data dive of their own on this and expects the recidivism rate to be lower than the statewide average, not higher. Recidivism is the tendency of inmates to reoffend after getting released from prison. We're going to check every single person that got a commutation. We are going to see if they were charged with anything during the period they would have been incarcerated. Because remember, if they only had six months, it's been 18 months. And now take a look at this graph. You can see that in the last two decades, rates of inmates reoffending within two years of being released has fluctuated. The highest recidivism rate happening in 2015 when 45% of the inmates released reoffended, the lowest in 2008 when 30% reoffended. Reporting in studio, Rachel Droz, WHAS 11 on your side.